I am very, very glad that we have this dialogue because this really gives me an opportunity to explain a few things and also to hear different views. I have both succeeded at the same time also failed, F-A-I-L-E-D, in one thing. I have succeeded in identifying one word. Everybody wants the word daya. But I think I failed to explain properly or clearly the real objective of this dialogue. I was really hoping that some of you would give me one, two, three words to replace the word done, line, line, against the box. I am not going to point out who said what and answer. I will just answer this generally. Uh, Actually, we have discussed this many times, you know, at the cabinet level. I think, uh, well, I, I was the one who started, who, who raised up this issue, and I never failed to participate in the discussion. I think something like not less than three cabinet meetings. In fact, the most recent one uh, after the chief minister uh, made the so-called final announcement, what would be the words to replace that line. But after listening to various comments subsequent to that decision, I raised it up again. My other colleagues were not very willing. Uh, I swallowed my pride and at the risk of being very embarrassed, I raised it up again. And that's why finally we were told, okay, refer it to the Bumi Putra Technical Committee. That is what I want. What can you tell me in one word, two words, or at the most three words? That should be used to replace the word done line line. There are three, three box, four boxes now in government forms. First, Melayu. Second, China. Third, India. Yang keempat, done line line. So what is it that we put instead of done line line for us to take? Daya. We put daya there. Okay, that, that is one word I can hear, daya. But so some of you uh, mentioned something else, uh, uh, status is Bumi Putra, race is daya, ethnic group is Iban. Uh, so I cannot put that in the box. Just put daya there. Okay, now, now let, let, me, let me explain to you the various opinions okay, that I have solicited around and among some ministers. It has never, it has never been concluded to just use the word daya, not yet. Instead, what we have been proposed so far is one, uh, daya iban, daya badayu, daya orang ulu. But we have always this reservation about the word daya orang ulu. Uh, we know there was some skepticism among some orang ulu group and that was verified by one uh, lady just now. They don't like to be called Daya. But my father is a pure bred Lun Bawang. But he used the term Daya to describe himself, you know. My, my father-in-law. <laughs> oh, my late father-in-law passed away already. Now, so the first suggestion is that, you know, that was the BN Supreme Court meeting. Daya Iban, Daya Orang Ulu, Daya Padayu. And uh, in the uh, cabinet, I will explain to you why later on. In the cabinet, after some discussions, after some feedback, but not as formal or as many as this, we included, we instead used, we, we instead proposed the word Bumi Putra Iban, Bumi Putra Padayu. Bumi Putra Orang Ulu. Okay? And then, there are some people who just want to use the word Iban, Badayu, Orang Ulu. <coughs> but I think, of, of course, there is a fourth one. After this discussion never ended, after so many times, you know, including three cabinet meetings, Leo Tiong Lai said, Macam ini susah lah. 
Why not we just have the fourth? He didn't say the fourth one, you know, everybody. Why not we just have one box? No. We write down. Let it plan. We write down what bangsa you want. But I think they will never be accepted by the Malay, uh, especially by the Malay. Number one. And then my counter argument, in fact, Chef York was very angry when he heard Leo Tung Lai mention that. But my counter argument to this blank, and you feel anyhow, whoever uh, look at that form, if this for the purpose of, let's say, scholarship application, you would, that, that person, Will question, you know, is this authentic or not? Claim dia yang dia ini uh, bumi putra, for example, bumi putra what? Uh, when they look at my name Joseph into the blown, they see the word Joseph. They say if I if I say I'm a bumi putra, they won't believe me. For oh, federal scholarship in Spanish, uh, my friend in Sabah, Regina Agnes Lee. She went to IPM, my classmate, one of the top students, Regina, and then Agnes Lee, Chinese. She spoke Chinese with her friend in class, but she is a Bumi Putra. So if she were to claim that she is a Bumi Putra, I don't know what is the term there, would anybody believe her? No. So that's the problem with feeling it yourself. The authenticity of your claim may be doubted. People may doubt it. Okay, that is one. Now, I have proposed, in fact, in my interview, which I think some of you reacted uh, some quite negatively, but you, you should have listened to the whole interview and in that context, not just pick up what you don't like to hear. My first preference is the word Bumi Putra Daya Iban. Bumi Putra Daya Bedayo. Bumi Putra Daya Uranulu. That is my preference. Of course, my second question is, assuming the cabinet doesn't agree. Because some people say, you know, oh, yeah, panjang sangat. Ada. They said that, panjang sangat. Hopefully, if we agree on that, the Follow. How many there are ministers there? Four. How many? Datuk Bukah, saya, Richard Yon. Only three of us out of 30 something. If we can insist on that, and through the Bumi Putra Technical Committee nanti, nanti maybe, uh, you know, we said, you know, what is three words? That is not too long. If you give me the mandate to say that, that is the one that I will really strongly propose. Now, let me explain why I would prefer to say Bumi Putra Daya Iban, Bumi Putra Daya Berayu, Bumi Putra Daya Orang Ulu. The word Bumi Putra, in this context of using it in the form, is not including Melayu. Melayu Sarawak is also under the category Melayu, sama dengan Semenanjung. But the word Bumi Putra in this form is only to identify what they call the indigenous group of Sabah and Sarawak. Some of you I think misunderstood just now. Oh, when they talk about Bumi Putra, then our quota is taken by Melayu. No. The reason why our quota, one of the reasons, I think you know that there is that there's some other reason. But one of the reasons is we got mixed up. Because of the general classification, Bumi Putra. I will never agree to use, to describe us just Bumi Putra, full stop. No way. But I want it to be Bumi Putra, Daya, Iban, and so on and so on. Not, not just Bumi Putra. No Daya, no Tansi Jabu, not Tansi Jem. will agree that we are just called Bumi Putra. No way. Even the Melayu will be very surprised if we suggest or oh, put under the fourth box itu, which just Bumi Putra. So, stop arguing about the word Bumi Putra. We will never use that on its own. If we use that, it will be with the 
visual. Some other name to identify the ethnic group. Now, why do I do not? Why don't I prefer the word Bumi Putra Daya? So I have, uh, or just uh, the word Daya. I I hope the other communities don't mind. I apologize for them. I've gone over the data even before I went to federal. I think some of you in PBDS when I was the youth chief, I gave you the breakdown of the various things about the Dayak communities, the racial breakdown and so on. Opportunities. I think another one was in Miri here during one I think it win. Was it one or two people to organize it? And then I I look at the data again when I became the full minister in federal. The greatest marginalization is for the Iban, on the Iban. The second is on the Urang Ulu. Treated very fairly. That's why I give you the this data just now. Ah, the Bedayu. The Bedayu have no reason to complain. But if you group us just under Daya, in the Daya there are many subgroups. And I tell you, I cannot speak openly about this. If you do that, within the subgroups who are most disliked, you will be discriminated because there is no specific data on each subgroup. That is why we must use the term included in the classification Iban, Badayu, Orang Ulu. You cannot just lump us into Daya because some people will be disadvantaged in the Daya group. Now don't compare us to the Japanese, the Bugis, they are all very happy to call Malayu. Uh, just <coughs> to digress a little. The term Malayu defined in the federal constitution is anybody who practice the Muslim re Islam religion and practice the, Mal uh, the uh, Malay Custom. culture or something. Who yes, profit or whatever is the word. Yes. Okay. So for the purpose of definition, <laughs> If we have converted, you are called Melayu, but I know in the heart and in your blood, you are still the Liban, uh, our friend there. Okay? <laughs> but that is by definition. So, on that argument, and I have evidence, I was a member of the Yayasan Tunggu Doraman. In every meeting, when I attended, I took the figures, I looked at the Iban, I looked at the Badayu, I looked at the Chinese. I looked at the Daya. We were always the most disadvantaged group. There were more Badayu than us. There were even more Chinese than us. Even scholarship. So do you want to be called Daya alone? You ask me. I have not finished. I am going to answer each one of your doubts. Now, the word Bumi Putra. What is that Boran for? Many of you argue we must, you know, use the word Daya to preserve our community so that our race will forever be remembered, be recognized, and so on. It is as if just having by the word Daya in a government form, we will preserve ourselves. Do you really believe that? Yeah. I suggest tonight. Every subgroup, every ethnic group, please form an association with the word Dayak. Dayak Kipot, Dayak Sebo, Dayak Rurung Kenyah, Dayak Tering, Dayak this, Dayak that. That is where you preserve yourself. <laughs> and party, even political parties. Of course, I'm not campaigning for the party Dayak Baru. <laughs> In fact, I'm going to use the word Pati Dayak Baru as evidence that I was hoping somebody would say, oh, to, you, to unite Dayak, that would be my point. If the word Dayak is to make Dayak united, my goodness, 
I may be a chief minister by now. Because I was one of those who fought hard under PVVS. But out of 34 seats we stood in, we only got seven. How united? Very united. Under PBDS. Saya lawan Jawan yang paling. Orang bukan dari Tamin. Dari luar Tamin. Saya orang Tamin. Lahir di Tamin. Di sungai Tamin. Saya mandi di sungai Tamin. Konstituensi Tamin. Pengundi sana 95% ibang. Parti, parti daya. Presiden daya. I won. Yeah, but only 500 plus. 8,500 Iban, not Dayak, no, Iban. Lawan Jawa yang paling 500 Uni Cina. I only won by 500 plus. So united. Using the word Dayak. Bukan Dayak, selalu Dayak. Parti bangsa Dayak. Which made somebody ran away. Because of the word bangsa. Too strong, they say. Nah. Tapi, nak tanya ke belakang kita lagi pun. Oh, the, we must use the word daya to unite daya. Ya, aku juga tanya, how many members of daya baru? Tanya. Anyway, among some of the reasons, okay, among one of the reasons why we are not that well treated as daya, as iban, and so on, is because at the federal level, this is my experience, we have not been recognized. They don't know the word daya. They look down upon the word daya because they re regard daya macam bata. The word is a uh, anko. I don't know how you pronounce it. U n c o u t h. Anko or something like that. You know, I was under Papua. Under Papua, I went throughout the whole of Sinanjong, including Sabah, every state. In fact, the first threatening function I had was to buka puasa. Officiate buka puasa in Kelantan. And throughout the state in Selanjo, you ask my officers. My opening paragraph was always, My name is Joseph Intulu Anak Belaun. Muka macam Melayu. Nama orang putih. Uh, a few other things lah, you forgot lah. Bangsa Iban. So now, I come here, I say, to be the ambassador first for my state, second, an ambassador to the rest of you in Sinanjong here, of my community, the Iban, and finally, as a deputy minister of Papaduana. So that was always my introduction. Wow, senior officers, you know, check up dengan saya, kita bergaul. You know what did they say? Actually, Daya, the word Daya here is not very attractive. Yeah, associated with Batak. But that is not true even. I went to Sumatra just to find out who the Batak are. I was told that the Batak are very, one of the highly respected people in Sumatra. In government department and so on, business school, there are many, many, many in the field. Anyway, uh, the moment, the moment they see the word Joseph, for example, it, especially if they don't see me, my face. If they see my face now, eh, Munchu Mukamayu, I remember Sapa Nama Selangor and Bidu, Yong, Muhammad Taib. When he first introduced me in the meeting during the post cabinet, they just the moment they see the word Joseph Automatically, they don't look at the word Enturu, Ana, no need. To them, Joseph means not Bumi Putra. Anybody with the name, so name with Christian name, I tell you, 
you will not be regarded as Bumi Putra. And that is why saya, Dr. Uga, Richard Rior, insist semasa kita make the final decision on the word Bumi Putra. So that tak ada orang semenanjung ragu-ragu. Nobody will ever say we don't know. Because it is very clear that it is not because we want to be mixed up with the Malay. The Malays, they don't use the Bumi Putra there in the Borang. They just the word Melayu. China, the same thing, India. But because of their ignorance in Senanjong, we have to put the word Bumi Putra. That's what our opinion was. Lah. So, it is not to describe our race. It is for the purpose of getting our share of the economic cake, scholarship, education, everything. But like I said, for anything else, whether it's for the purpose of politics, for the purpose of preservation of your race, of our race and so on, for purpose of pride and so on. Please, I am not being sarcastic here. For you know, I may need all this Daya Daya Association. That's why I want you to form it. You form it. No matter how small, even if your ethnic group has only 100 people, form it. And then we go under one umbrella, SD and U. So now you have to decide. You give me the feedback by letter or whatever, especially the chief of the association. You, know. you want status quo that is line line. You want the word Dayak, that means only four boxes Melayu, China, India, Dayak. Or you want uh, the Melayu, China, India to Sudan. We talk about our group again. Or you want the word Daya Iban, Daya Berayu, Daya Orang Ulu. Or do you want Bumi Putra, Daya Iban, Bumi Putra, Daya Berayu, Bumi Putra, Daya Orang Ulu? You better put it clearly to me. Then it is easy for me to present it to my colleagues as well as to the cabinet, to the Bumi Putra Technical Committee. That is what I was looking for. I mean, the other argument, my goodness. Ah, uh, saya boleh nak tepuk dadah sikit lah. Allow me to boost a bit here. 1991, I stood for election and dapat I earned 4,000 plus at that time. Total. Kalau menang, kalau menang. Our salary at that time, allowance, don. YB, I think, 1,005. 1,500. Kalau menang, kalau kalah. But I sacrificed that. That's why I've been waiting for some people yang banyak cakap pasal Dayak struggle and so on. I really have only one question for them. You know. But I will reserve it in case somebody want to challenge me, fight me. I will have that. I reserve that one question. Nadai, Munga Bukai, the San Kuruko, work Muni, San Kuankut, who let the sea delay. Ninga, the one Pali and Nankut Muni. I guess Kua also. You see, not at any pun. Video. You say, we had video. It was video. Huh? It was video tape. We had it. I forgot who has it. It was video tape by our supporters. In fact, that, that incident propelled no more transfer of voters from one station to another. Yeah. So other people can other people can talk about you know being very passionate about Daya or whatever. I have put my life on the line for Daya. Anyway, I hope that I get the proper feedback. Uh, okay, I want to explain other things here. Not related to this issue. I mean, uh, not not about the issue, but quite related. Uh, you all know that I'm in charge of three other portfolio, three portfolios. In fact, four. One is Mampu. Uh, the one is not relevant for our discussion. The other one is Pemantauan uh, Kujangi by PN and PPN, not relevant for our purpose. But there are two: SPP Sewan Jaya Perkhidmatan Pelajaran. Education Commission, recruitment of teachers. The other one is SFPA, Public Service Commission, uh, 
recruitment, promotion, and so on, uh, placement of uh, civil service. Now, let me explain this. Some people criticize me for uh, one for people being transferred to Kape, to Sarawak, yeah, many from Semanjo. I look at the data. Uh, for Sabah and Sarawak, each has less than 6%, I think 4% something, 5% of our own people being stationed in Sarawak and in Sabah. Uh, I did express my unhappiness uh, to Dr. Haile. In fact, when I was first appointed, I called the commission separately, SPP and SPA, and expressed to them two things. One, for SPP, Pelajaran, please stop sending too many people from Semanjong to Sarawak. Second, please do not post too many Muslims and especially no Muslims should be posted to rural schools where there are no Muslim pupils. That instruction was followed by the chairman at that time. And then the chairman changed. Dr. Haile became the new one. He is new. He is from Sarawak, but he's new. I think he is not daring enough to stop this. So I called him uh, a few weeks ago to look at this and together with his secretary, they promised to meet the director of education in Sarawak. Okay? But the other thing I want to explain is some people think that I have authority in the definition or in the scope of work of the SPP, the commission and SPP has authority to recruit teachers. That's what it says. But in actual fact, we have no authority. Not even nominal. Why? Because training teachers are selected by the Department of Education and the Ministry of Education. And those who become teachers and placed in the various schools throughout Malaysia are those training teachers who graduated later on from the IPG. And as a result, we are just given the list. Okay, these are the list of teachers who have been trained, and these are the requirements for the various schools in Sarawak, in Malaysia, and Antar. So we SPP lah, become postmen. That is why we cannot, I cannot influence because that is based on what is already given. So the next best thing I could do was, I look at the number of graduates, those who have graduated from IPG. And we have excess of 7,000. Know. There were only 13,000 uh, as of last year. But there are 20,000 who have already graduated. So. The only thing I could do was to jump, jump some of our Daya people to be placed first. That is why there are some people, I know there are some who uh, graduated in 2009 until today, uh, they still have not got the offer letter. Because I look at some other priorities, I can give you the other details. Huh? So th those are the places where I could maneuver. The next one, and the same thing with SPA at all, I look at the supporting staff. Supporting staff are not subjected to training in IPG. Now, that is where I'm sure you have heard that I've gone to Kakus uh, no, Tatao. I have gone to Selangau, I have gone to Kapit, I have gone to Balaringin, I have gone to Sri Aman. Now our next target is Kanawit and Sarike. To recruit at the local level those who are not subject to Education Department and Ministry of Education selection. And my instruction was recruit locally and I gave them again the statistic, statistic, statistics of employment, give priority to the Daya. And what happened? In all these areas where we have visited, there were never less than 50% Daya who are given the offer letter. Now, SPA is the same thing. SPA, I have more authority because that's not subject to training by some institute. The only problem with SPA is this. One, it is true, you know, 
It's not manipulation. Our Daya people being from rural area, rural school, we, we, we are really not as good as those from urban areas when it comes to interview. So we organize. We organize interview training. That is not enough. We have very limited manpower to do that because uh, the interviews are done by those who have done interview before. That means from the commission. And that is where I need NGOs. And I get money. You ask uh, Anthony Banyan, I get money for him to do roadshow and so on. I don't know how much they do. To provide training, to do all things, to encourage our people to be better in interview, in job application and everything. Uh, uh, my party, PRS, uh, did comment, I'm too quiet. I have a few reasons why I do that. Number one, I said, let me finish, let me cover as many dire areas as possible, then I will speak. Because if people know that I'm doing what I'm doing, or what I've been doing, they were all, all areas, urban, semi-urban included. They will all be asking me to do the same thing for them. Then I will have no opportunity to organize the so-called local recruitment. And in fact, some of my colleagues in the cabinet, a few would know this already, and they have asked me to move into their area. This is why I didn't want to make any noise. Second, I look at the model of leadership. I may have some differences with Tanji Leo, especially after the breakup of PBDS. But there are a few things that I model myself. In. One is I purposely want to be media shy. Unfortunately, also, I have some bad experience with the media. Just like the story I told you about drop the word and then I And there was another one last time. Uh, I had to run up and down among the leaders to explain what was written in the paper, which was not to say not true, but it was not supposed to, to be in the, in the paper. It was not an interview. You know, it's just like we have a coffee, we talk with each other, but this guy happened to be a reporter. He reported what we said as a friend, what I said as a friend in the paper. So, because of all this bad experience, I, you know, I purposely become media shy. Of course, the other reason is I would like people to really read when they see I have something to say. Or I say something in the paper that people would like to read. Uh, I have some friends uh, who appear even twice or three times. A day, what I found out later on is they lost election. Uh, the other thing you, uh, on SPA, please understand there are two for our purpose. Okay, I don't want to explain the whole concept of SPA, Public Service Commission. There are two that are relevant for us: state and federal. Federal is under me. State, I have zero say. The state does its own recruit, recruitment. I'm sure we have some Iban for the uh, Dayak there. Uh, we have leaders at the state level. If you look at this data, looking at this, something like, just to make my explanation faster, I don't want to talk about every community, just talk about the Iban. The Iban, for example, should have 30.31% of the employment in Sarawak. You know, if we have 30.31% of this employment in Sarawak, if we take up our quota, that one from the federal, 2.46, may not even be necessary. But if we are to take 2.46% of the total job in the federal, that will still not be sufficient to satisfy the state quota. Meaning, the higher percentage, the emphasis should be on the state recruitment. And that is not under me. So, no matter how hard I try, in fact, at the moment, I'm exceeding, exceeding our diet quota in the recruitment. But unfortunately, at the lower at the lower level, 
we will not, never be able to meet the state level quota unless the state leaders pick up the slide. The, the slide. Promotion. Promotion, you know, the word is promotion. Therefore, it must be more or less from inside on those who are already working. I have no influence on those who have already been employed. That was before I came in. So naturally, if there are so many other communities who have been employed, it is most likely when there's promotion, they also will be the one who get most of the promotion because the pool is bigger for them. I'll give you an example. I want to recruit somebody for Swana as a DO now. This is the real thing. We look around. Very sad. Uh, there was only one name that was given to me that really qualified and who is really suitable. Not just qualified, but suitable. But somebody grabbed, somehow tahan him not. Uh, did not want him to go to my slana. The other guy, I have pushed. I was told that at best he can be acting mm -hmm. DO. But I'm still pushing. I'm asking uh, Tan Sri Jem to help me to push. I called uh, Tan Sri SS. There are a few others. In fact, several who are academically qualified but not suitable. Among the lack of suitability, drunkard, not disciplined, and all kind of reasoning. So I have very limited pool. But I specified to Tansri SS, please give me an advice. And my reasoning was very simple. First, I have a Chinese SS. Then I have a Badayu. Then I have a Malayu. Now you give me an advice. So the, the current DO is still retained there, but waiting for correct replacement to be identified. So that is one of the problems we have. So please uh, whisper to our people, regardless of what we say about other communities, we have problem among ourselves. Uh, we, we don't have enough pool. Of course, you can have always a Giula. Yeah, but you know, the reason we have not enough pool is because we were marginalized from the very beginning, partly true. But if only those small pool that we have, are really very suitable, uh, then we still can fill our quota. And just in case you don't know, we have a support, we get general, what is it, Pankat Munaw? Steven Munaw. Steven Munaw. What is this? Major general. Major general. Yeah. Then Munaw. another one is, uh, but he's a Muslim, converted. Damien. 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 I can say there was a product of, I don't know, you went with us to the, during the Supreme Council meeting with uh, Tun Mahathir at the time as a PM. Uh, Dato Sri Najib was a defense minister and the party was asked to submit. So we complained, we raised an issue uh, in the military. The Dayak were very poorly uh, considered for promotion. So we were asked to give any name that you, you that is qualified for promotion, you give us. Maybe no name was given, but I'm quite sure they heard about it. And we had that, uh, what am I? The Dato Stephen Munau, Major General. Brigadier so, General. Huh? Brigadier General. No. Brigadier General. Major. Higher than that. He was the Brigadier in Cebu. Oh, now it's Major General is higher. Yeah. Ah, Major, Major General. Is higher. Okay, okay. Yeah. Two star. Went to England. Two stars, yeah. Two stars. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, I, I don't know. I, I only know what they are is preferred. But then, even before you do that, I push that the word they are must be included in our last meeting. Uh, when was it? The week before the meeting. Last week, last week, last week, last Wednesday. I suggested the word they are must be included. But uh, 
should we not improve the work of Daya Ivan, Daya Prayer, and so on? And I think uh, nobody complains about it being too long at the cabinet. We must improve the work of Mr. Chow. Then I beg to differ with you. My reasoning is different. Uh, I'm looking looking more at the various the various advantages we have, the various things that uh, can happen that, that we can say, you know, if we have to work for Mr. Chow. The Sinanyong people, I'm sure, I'm sorry, many are very, very ignorant of our race here. I give you two incidents. You know. that was, this was during the Pati Dayat days. You know. uh, one Ivan from here worked in uh, Sinanyo. He wanted to buy ASD and he was refused because they said he is not a Bumi See how ignorant the officers are. Then another one, another Iban, I think he's in Malacca or somewhere. He wanted to buy a low cost housing, low cost house, which were given discount for Bumi Putra. He was turned down because they said he's not a Bumi Putra. Different guy, different person. These are the incidents which propel us to insist the word Bumi Putra must be. I don't want to talk about the no, I want to be Daya and so on. My goodness. <coughs> so many of you know what we did in Pati Daya. So there's no need to explain that. Okay? So any question now? I will take question from the floor now. Yeah. Yes. I don't have it. Yeah, our Daya Technical Committee has it. We have it, but I don't have it here. Uh, it could be uh, what, what happened was this. That meeting, there are two levels of technical committee. You know. One is co-chaired by Dato Sri Dr. Sugra and Dato Sri Max in Kimachima. The highest level is chaired by PM. And PM's level, even uh, that the one involved all the ministers from Sabah and Sarawak, including the chief ministers. There was two zero. Zero one two. And out of three, there are Daya three Iban. Mm. There are two Daya Bayo. Yeah, yeah. At that time, five of them, what they know. At that time, there are a lot of Daya Iban. Even for media, 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 Bumi Putra Minority Technical Committee, there was none. It was after there was, you know, three of us, Richard Riyot, Datuk Uka, Saya, Datuk Max, Tansi Joseph, I think it was seven or eight from the indigenous group, Sabah Sarawak, become ministers. We pushed for this thing. 